In the past year alone, Microsoft Corporation, one of the largest companies in the entire world, is up nearly 39% and is now trading close to its all-time high of about $460. And they actually hit their all-time high just a few weeks ago. And if we look at them in the past five years, up over 235%. So the question I want to answer today is how much free cash flow growth is currently priced into this company? Because it has to be a lot. And to find this out, we're going to be using what is known as a reverse discounted cash flow analysis model. So let's go ahead and talk about how this works and show you an example. I've come up here, let's go ahead and plug in MSFT and hit enter. And we can see all this data is going to load in thanks to the help of the ticker data add-on that allows you to automatically import stock financials. So if you'd like to get the ticker data add-on and access to any of my spreadsheets, then you can head over to tickerdata.com at the link in the description. But okay, so what we're looking at right now Right here is Microsoft's free cash flow from 2014 to 2023. And we can see the average growth rate during this time period was around 10%. So pretty good free cash flow growth. But keep in mind, this is not a compounded annual growth rate. So assuming 0% free cash flow growth, right now, Microsoft would be worth about $105.83 per share if we assume a perpetual growth rate of 2.5% and discount rate of 8.5%. And keep in mind, this is based off of adding all the future free cash flows adding cash and cash equivalent, subtracting out total debt to get equity value, divide by shares outstanding, and that's how we'd get the $105.83 per share. Again, this is all assuming absolutely no free cash flow growth for this company moving forward. So what would happen if we assume a 10% free cash flow growth rate? If we plug in 10%, we can see it'd be worth about $215.96 per share. So obviously the market is pricing in quite a bit more than 10% free cash flow growth into this company. If we bump this all the way up to 15%, reverse DCF price per share of about $306.16. Again, we want to find out what gets us to that current price of $460. If we bump it all the way up to 20%, you can see we're almost at $460. So if we bump it up to 21%, we get very close to it, just $1 per share above it. So basically what the market is telling us at this current trading price, the market is pricing in about 21% free cash flow growth into Microsoft over the next decade. That is a lot of free cash flow growth for a company that's already a $3 trillion company. But I think the reality is this is possible. And one of the things you have to understand about Microsoft, if we look at the most recent quarter's earnings report, we can see they have a ton of different services and products. So Microsoft is essentially an ETF in itself with a bunch of little mini businesses operating within it. And for example, we can see some major growth in places like Xbox content and services up 62% year over year. We can see services like Dynamics 365, 23% growth, server products and cloud services, 24% growth, Azure and other cloud services, 31% growth, and even Microsoft Cloud, 23% growth. So the reality is many of their business segments are growing at a pretty rapid pace still. Now for me personally, Microsoft is my largest position in my portfolio when you don't include my dividend growth ETF, SCHD. If we blow this up, we can see right here in Microsoft, currently makes up about 8.3% of my portfolio at about $15,000. Now, I'll be honest, I haven't added any capital to this position in quite some time because obviously it is a bit more on the expensive side right now. But if you blow up my growth chart, we can see I've seen some phenomenal gains from this position. I'm currently up about 74%. I remember adding shares of this company just a few years ago when it was trading around $220 per share and a lot of people thought I was crazy for doing that. But I definitely don't plan on selling my shares anytime soon. I think this company is going to be around for a very long time and it still has a lot of potential growth in the future. So even if we see a pretty large decline in share price over the next couple of years, it doesn't really concern me. I'd look at that as an opportunity to add more shares. Now if we look at this company from a balance sheet perspective, come up here, plug in MSFT and hit enter. One of the things we can see about Microsoft is they have one of the healthiest balance sheets out of any business you'll look at. Phenomenal return on tangible assets, phenomenal return on equity, and from a ratio perspective, things look very good. Just look at the debt to assets ratio over time. It got as high in 2017 as about 35.75%, which is still very healthy, but over the past few years, it's continued to decline, and in 2023, it got as low as 14.56%. So total assets, 412 billion total debt was sitting at 60 billion at the end of 2023. So they're in a phenomenal position from a balance sheet perspective. And if we look at them over the next year, total current assets sitting at about 184 million while total current liabilities 104. 
So the current ratio is in a very healthy position as well. So really nothing to worry about. So yes, there's a lot of free cash flow growth priced into this company right now at about 21%. That's a pretty high range. So the question you have to ask yourself as an investor is, do you think this free cash flow growth rate is attainable? And if you think it's easily attainable for Microsoft moving forward, then you might want to consider adding shares. If you think it's a little on the high end, you may want to stay away. Again, as for me right now, I'm not currently adding shares, but I am perfectly fine continuing to hold this in my portfolio. But there you go. That's how much free cash flow growth is currently priced into Microsoft stock. Go ahead and let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And like always, if you'd like to, be able to download any of my spreadsheets and also get access to the ticker data add-on in Google Sheets that allows you to automatically import stock financial straight into your spreadsheet then you can head over to tickerdata.com at the link in the description so with all that being said thank you guys so much for watching and please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel